I finally got around to seeing a movie that's been on my watch list for years, Green Room from 2015, written and directed by Jeremy Soliner? Solnier? How the fuck do I pronounce that? I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, the film stars the late Anton Yelchin and Patrick Stewart, follows a desperate punk band scraping by on a tour and trying to make a living by only playing live shows. Getting from place to place by siphoning gas from people's cars and crashing at pads belonging to fans, they get a decent gig set up at a neo-Nazi joint where they witness the aftermath of a murder and as a result are held hostage in the green room. I don't really want to talk about the plot very much from here because I think it's one that you should definitely check out. It's got a lot of tension in it, that's for sure. Uh, if you're worried that this is one of those movies that's set primarily in one room, uh, don't sweat it. There are lots of characters who aren't in the room that we get to see, one of which being Patrick Stewart's character Darcy, the owner of the club, who's kind of the mastermind behind everything that's going on in the film. I don't personally think his character is very menacing, maybe it's because I've seen a little too much Star Trek, but he does have a presence about him. He's basically just like an irritated manager who's cleaning up after his employees. Uh, throughout most of the movie he seems pretty fed up with the situation and the people he works with. I think where this movie really shines is with the main cast of survivors. I generally like everyone in the band. Kinda wish one or two of them got a little more screen time honestly, but I get it. It's a horror movie and you gotta start making cuts somewhere. I think I was most pleasantly surprised by, uh, oh god, I'm gonna fucking slaughter this name. I'm gonna murder this name and bury it in my backyard. Okay, it is Imogen Poots, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway. Um, her performance really caught me off guard. I, I mean, I knew Patrick Stewart and Anton Yelchin were in the movie, but I, I thought they were pretty much gonna be it, but no, I was genuinely surprised by her performance. Uh, she plays Amber in the movie, uh, another character who's not in the band but finds themselves in the same situation. Uh, I recognized her, but I couldn't quite figure out from where. A quick Google search later and I found out that she had the screen with Yelchin before in one of my favorite remakes, Fright Night. She played Amy in that movie and I thought her character in the remake was pretty bland, so I didn't really take notice of her then, but uh, this movie, holy shit, she has a great performance. She's usually the most calm and collected in any given scene and uh, her character just has an attitude about her that really helps her steal whatever scene she's in. But yeah, no, Green Room is a great movie. I would highly recommend it if you're if you like thrillers or horror movies. This is one for you, probably. Seven out of ten. Check it out. Or don't. I'm not your fucking boss. <laughs>